Welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. In this video, I'm going to explain question number 18 for the certification preparation questions. So for this, the question is, uh, load the CSV file that is your sale.csv file into SAS, examine the data set for any missing data in the revenue and so just need to delete it. So that means is there any missing values in that particular revenue column, then delete it. Provide the total revenue for each sale by region categorized by month. So provide the total sale for each region wise and categorize by the month. So so we need to just to categorize first, first of all, we need to find out the total revenue then categorize by each month wise we need to do it. So the question is what will be the total sale amount for the West region in the first month. So that means once we done summarization of all we need uh, what will be the sum of all first month's data okay for the West region that is the first question. So which region recorded the highest sale across all months. So throughout all the months which region how uh, contributed or maybe given a more sale. So we want to identify it. So for that what we have to do is let me just jump into SAS and you need to import that particular file. Okay, so let me just jump into SAS. So then you need to import that file where it is located. So I'm just writing it uh, proc import then data file equal to you just mentioned the path of that file where it is located. I'm just using it here. The file is into this location. I'll try to do one thing. Go to properties. I'll try to go to the place where my data is located, I'll copy the path, I'll go to my uh, here into the SAS window. So then I'll just come here, I'll just mention the path of that file where it is located. So I'm just pasting it. So the path in a quotations close, make sure the file name is sale. So I'm just writing it slash sale dot CSV. I'm just writing it here. Okay and don't give the semicolon dbms database management system equal to it is in a csv file out equal to new data set name as abc or anything you can write it that's not any issue at all and try to run it make sure the data should be imported into sas environment when you are importing it the excel file is not in open condition the csv file is not open condition so i'm trying to import it i think i'm done so it's clearly saying ABC data set is created in work library, go to library, ABC data set is created and this is how the data is looks like. So here, once the data is imported, what is the second step they are asking? I'll try to do one thing. I'll split this particular PowerPoint presentation into two pieces so that now I can easily see PowerPoint presentation questions and this one side by side so that it's easy for us to do all the practice stuff and everything also. Okay, so within this, what they're asking is, and uh, so here, I'll just zoom it bit off. But the problem is when I try to zoom it, it won't come as normal. Okay, so the question is, so examine is there any missing data in the revenue column, then delete it. So actually revenue column wise, we can't manually check it like this. What we can do is we can write a condition to do that to missing data in the data set you delete it. So how I can say data your data set name test or anything you can write it set you're copying your values from your A B C. Okay, if missing. Okay, so I need to write it. So here the variable name I'm just writing it here if a revenue variable value revenue Okay, missing, I'm directly writing equal to as it is a numerical data, then I'm just directly writing it. So if missing, then delete it. Okay, semicolon. So run. So this step, is there any missing values? Right now it is available or not available the missing value that is not your headache. Is there any missing records in the data? I want to delete it. So that's what I said. Check your log 
I think 43 records are now earlier also 43 records so that means there is no change in your data at all that means so sometimes they try to uh, use certain text uh, in your exam in question to just confuse you more but there is no need and there is no use of it sometimes but you need to be very conscious while you are just going for the certification exam each and every text should be written the program correctly so that no you can avoid uh, further issues if any uh, when you are uh, doing anything new so provide the total revenue by each sale region and categorize them in a month wise so we need uh, that sale first of all by region wise and second one is month wise they want it so what we do is i'll try to take this particular data set as a proc it's a procedure i'm just writing it sort data equal to your data set name so that is your test you're writing it okay so then by what they're asking they're asking me to sort by okay the one is uh, they're asking me to categorize the revenue by sale region and as well as month wise go to your variables here in your data set so sale region is the column so first column you need to sort it based on the sale region and the second one is okay i'm just sorting by uh, so what i can say the month so i'm just using the month wise i'm just doing it here go there i'm done so make sure to use this particular data to be stored into a new data set name as the sorted data to be stored i'll try to write it uh, a statement saying at a out equal to i'm trying to write it uh, test 2 i'm just writing it uh, so i'm just sorting the data again okay i'm just think done with it new data set is created as a test 2 so there you can see that the data is sorted first east so alphabetical order wise the data got sorted first east then followed by the north then followed by the south and west and all you got it the data and you got it month wise data also so within a east wise we have a 1 2 3 4 and uh, we have again north wise we have 1 2 3 uh, 1 2 4 5 and all so you are getting the data something like this so what they're asking is we need so that uh, so we have sorted and we categorize the data that's making sense what will be the total sum of uh, uh, what will be the total sales amount for the west region in the first month they want it okay so they need so something like that we, we want to create it so we need to we need to just uh, see okay so a concept called proc means you do okay so then data equal to your data set name you try to write it as a test 2 because that is where our uh, variables are located so test 2 and so i need a default sum i need i'll try to write it sum so by which variable wise you are just trying to get it i am writing it here by okay so i need so sales region and month i'm trying to write it uh, in this output uh, okay then use a statement called run if i execute it proc means you are doing it uh, so you are just getting it okay so now whatever you are getting in the output window so it seems uh, uh, what i can say that it is very difficult to understand like employee revenue and all you are getting it so what you do is write a var statement we need a revenues based on the revenue column only you don't want it on the remaining columns at all go to your data set here go to revenue okay you try to take a analysis based on the revenue only required right so write a var statement for the revenue because this is the only variable wise we need it apart from that what i'll do is writing a sum statement it's not making any much sense to me i try to write a statement here called out i'm just writing it so output i'm just writing it here output out equal to new data set name i'm trying to store it as a test three i'm just using it here so there don't give the semicolon so here you need to write it uh, sum equal to you need that sum values of my okay so what values i need it sum of revenue is required i'm just trying to get it so the sum of my uh, revenue values okay so i'm just trying to write it so semicolon let's see what type of sum you are getting it right now i think i am getting it right now go there okay so when you just go there and open your data set as default it is printing output and output window it's not required write an option called no print okay then 
I don't need that particular output to be printed in the output window. The data set is created as a test three. Go there. The test three is created here. So now you can see that. So east wise. Okay. So east wise, you got a data one, two, three, four. And again, north wise also you got a data. And as well as south wise also we got it. So the value here. So the south wise, you can see uh, south with first month. So you got it. Twenty two thousand. South with uh, 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 south with uh, third month uh, will be twenty six thousand. South with uh, 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 fourth month is uh, uh, four thousand nine hundred fifty. South with uh, what I can say that uh, so south with uh, this particular value as uh, two thousand. So what is the question here? So what will be the uh, total sale amount for the West region? Okay, for the first month. So West, I'm just taking it here for the West first month. Uh, the sum is nothing but somewhere around ten thousand. So the answer is the sum of West uh, is going to be around ten thousand. So you need to write it. So the sum of all the values of your first month uh, is going to be around. Uh, 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 so I think uh, ten thousand. You need to get an answer. Second one is which region record the highest uh, sales across all the months. So we want to see which region has contributed the total as the highest values. So within this particular data set, you can take it. Uh, so as revenue wise, so you try to write it one more saying it. Uh, so like a uh, 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 proc sort, you write it. Uh, data equal to your data set name. I'm just trying to write it. Uh, so now I'm trying to use test three data set for our sorting purpose. Okay, by I'm just trying to write it. Uh, so uh, test uh, three, I need to. I think I can create any data set name. I think I have written spelling mistake here. I can write it test uh, three, and then the same test three, I can write it here also. I'm just writing it semicolon by. So what is the variable in your test three data set? Revenue wise, I want I want to sort the data. So I'm just sorting the data by revenue. So just I'm writing it here. So revenue wise, I'm sorting the data. Okay. So then. Or run the program so now you can see the data just sorted by revenue wise so a new data set is created as a test 3 so the, the data is sorted now by revenue wise so I think when you're looking into the revenue so here it is sorted so first value is 1800 then followed by this one and all so it is sorting it but uh, what I can say that is uh, 3150 I'm getting it here so basically what happens, you know, a revenue column wise, I sorted the data. I'm trying to create into a new data set name called out equal to, I try to give it as a test four. Okay. Just imagine what happened. So I need to create it as a test three. I need to run it. So I created as a test four. Now you can see that. So the highest amount. So earlier one, it didn't work because you see in your log. So there will be an error. So that's what it didn't work earlier one. But now the program is working neat and clean. So because I rerun the total program again, it's working. And there the highest, uh, the revenue wise, the highest sale is done for the fifth month of North region. So they have done around 26,700 uh, thousand uh, sorry 26,700 rupees or maybe US dollars they have done the sale so this is the highest sale they have done it uh, on the fifth month of north region wise the sale is highest amount uh, so you can directly say that uh, which region records the highest sale across all months means uh, so very simple here across uh, all the months wise data so here uh, you can see Okay, all the months wise data. So the North region on the fifth month, it is showing highest value as 26,700, right? So you can answer like this. So of these questions, so, so that it's easy, so that you just need to use your programming towards that particular what the question is. So is that question is talking about what exactly it is. So we, you need to write it each and every step, try to execute it and do it. So you quickly do it. So you, it is not that. Uh, so you're planning or you're thinking, yes, you have to plan and think it. So that's okay. But you need to do it faster. Otherwise you are uh, end up with, with a very less time in real time when you are working, uh, may, when you are going for the certification exam. I hope this question is helpful for you to clear uh, this uh, question number 18. I think you know how to do it and all.
so i'm using certain knowledge so if you think that this particular classes is helpful and if you think uh, so uh, this particular sessions are more helpful and you want to go for this type of questions more in uh, upcoming uh, sessions so, so what you can do is you can just enroll to our course i'm providing a link in the below so you can just enroll to this particular course this course having all the 400 questions like this so that uh, you can use it thank you thank you for watching be subscribed to my channel and i'll meet you in the next video thank you